Hello ladies and gentlemen, here's Mark Rich. Today I'll talk to you about a topic that is usually cited and elaborated only on consulting about the psychology of fashion. As you know, uh, I only talk about expensive jewelry. Precisely, I prefer necklaces and watches because the jewels that are cheap are aimed only at people who have nothing to transmit. And here we do not transmit poverty but only wealth. Anyway, today I want to talk about the psychology of jewels. And it doesn't matter whether you are a male or a female, this applies to everyone. Then, regarding the necklaces, it is important to know that the neck for the human unconscious is a vulnerable and delicate part. This means that if a woman wears a necklace, this expresses the attention on herself through the neck. In this way, self-confidence and willingness to create a new relationship are expressed. But it didn't end here because necklaces can be of various kinds, with colored gems of various sizes. And the necklaces with colored gems, for example, not, not, not only transmit self-confidence, but express our playful personality that takes the life lightly. And all this transmits security and sympathy to people. And if instead the gem you wear around your neck is very large, the side of the gem express that you want to draw attention to yourself, but also it makes people perceive that you are a determined person and that you face the situations of life with tenacity and trust. If you are a man, now you know what to give to your wife. <laughs> so after giving her the gift, let her see this video and also other videos of the channel and then watches. Even here I speak only of expensive watches and for expensive watches I mean at least with a cost of $10,000. Watches bought for men and for women are jewels that can express a variety of personalities each different from each other. Uh, the most classic minimalistic watches indicates that time is important. They are watches that transmit class and elegance. They are suitable for men who like to stay with family and go to luxurious parties. The most sporting watches are suitable for those who love adventures, for those who love the thrill, it expresses also the desire to win in extreme situations, as Rolex also teaches. It expresses that you are a winner. Then, of course, if you use a $100 watch, it's exactly the opposite. This is because it's an unconscious mechanism. People fear your authenticity with what you wear, but they don't know why. If you see for the first time a person with $70,000 Rolex, you will not think it's a Rolex so he is a winner. No, but what you will feel will immediately be a feeling that this man is determined in his life and that he is an important person. So imagine it. So imagine to meet a person with a Rolex for the first time. What will you think of him? Here. What you, what you talk of him is an unconscious mechanism and this is what the psychology of jewelry teaches. The psychology behind the jewels is very underrated but in reality is the only reason why a people should choose and buy a jewel. So I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the link below in the description and leave me your email to be up updated uh, on the best jewels on the market. We'll see you in the next video and ciao!